I want your opinion about something. I'm not neurotypical, so I'm really interested in how you react to the marketing of olfactive O perfumes. If you know the marketing, pause the video here, put a comment or a, a video response down below. I'll talk through my thought process. So we start with the box which says, um, discover your secret identity. So already I'm thinking, my secret identity, who is it a secret from, you or, or me? You open up and get a booklet that says that, step into our world. Now I'm confused. This has created what's known as cognitive dissonance. We were talking about my identity, now we're talking about your world. So. I need some kind of bridging concept to kind of go, where are we? We then open the booklet, and I'll talk about the website as well. The booklet has this. I am passionate, mysterious, and seductive. So who is the I? We've, we've introduced a third concept now. Is the I the perfume? So are we talking about the perfume here? Or is that telling me what my secret identity is? On the website, it's more explicit. It says... Who am I? And I, I'll read it. I am the heroine. So, I mean, that's not me, clearly. The scene stealer, the one that got away. I'll burn your imagination long after I've left the room and you'll wonder if you dreamt me. Again, is this the perfume or is this supposed to be you? Um, et cetera, et cetera. It, it then goes on and sort of adds a layer to the notes. So it's passionate, top, mysterious, heart, seductive, base. So that's at least repeating the three sort of concepts that it had before. But then there's more. We we now add sort of place of feeling. So it's got moments. Uh, candlelight and silk dresses. So dresses confuses me. Why is there more than one? So is it is it your dress or you're just amongst dresses? Uh, red carpet glamour. Uh, okay. A rooftop in Marrakesh. Okay, I've been to Marrakesh. I've been to lots of rooftops. This is a rooftop. So which one? Uh, and why? Uh, and then a secret... Tattoo, that's interesting because it's sort of replicating the concept of secret again. So that's again one of the sort of key touchstones that it's having. It gets worse, actually, because in the other part of the site, it talks about olfactive O being two parts, olfactive and O. Uh, olfactive being a, a secret perfumier. Okay, why? Why are you even saying that? I mean, that's sort of constructing the opening narrative of a hero's journey. I assume that there's going to be editorials written about this, which will start with this line about, oh, the perfumer is secret. You didn't need to mention it at all. Why? So does this speak to you? To me, it's just taking tropes and throwing all of them onto one product. 